Yo, listen to this. Hello, board. My hello, board. My name is Michelle Altair, and I'm here in support of the resolution that was read. And I have a, a, a different, uh, unique perspective on things because I traveled with the super, a superintendent during the primaries all over the state, who was addressing the transgender issues, the sexualization of children. And we happened to talk with, or after such a talk, an 11 year old girl came out and um, she was just asking about, are you against this? I mean, isn't it, you know, shouldn't we be more accepting with these? Shouldn't we be more accepting? And as the questions were being asked, she, she shared with us that she played on the girls volleyball team, 11 years old, played on the girls volleyball team. And there, and she knew it was a man. It wasn't a, you know, just cause you're in a, in a dress or you're wearing certain clothes does not make you a female. She knew that it, one of the, their, their student coaches was a, a man and he would come into their locker room and he would just stand there at the door staring at them. And she was asked, just at you? No, he just stares at us, all of us girls, as we're changing. And the, 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 the issue, yes, that's, that's a horrible thing. But the bigger thing was she felt bad because she's being indoctrinating that this is natural. This is normal. And so she felt bad. Something's wrong with her because she was uncomfortable as he's watching her. And I don't know, you know, it's, I have never had an 11 year old girl, but I would imagine they don't even want their fathers in the rooms with them when they're changing, let alone some strange, individual who says I'm I'm I identify as a woman in the locker room so I would think you know that we're we're, we're all going to have to answer to a much high, higher power for our role in the destruction and it is the destruction of children we all had our issues growing up we all maybe had some idiosyncrasies some things problems that we had growing up but I don't think we were ever told that the reason why you have these problems is because you're really a girl or you're really a boy, basically telling them that God, the God of uh, the universe, he made a mistake when creating you. And man, fallible man, we know what's right and we can change you into what you really should be. So I think, you know, we all need to take a deep look within ourselves and know that you will stand before a, a higher power and you will be asked about your role in what is, is the destruction of children in this generation thank you okay man let me know what you think about this video in the comment section this is sick right let me ask you this question is this the world you want to live in is this the world you want to leave behind for the future generation a world where 11 12 year old girls are brainwashed to the point where they think it's okay to have a grown man staring at them just staring at them where they're changing their clothes bro in the name of inclusion oh we want to be inclusive so we can have a grown man putting some makeup on like a wig put some female clothes and just say okay i'm a female now i'm a woman now i can go into a female little girl locker room and just stare at them this is sick bro and i want you to think about that poor little girl for a second 11 year old at that age you want to fit in you want to have friends you don't want people to single you out as the one person who's anti-trans because that's what people will do people will call you anti-trans that's what the media is doing right and then they'll try to cancel you this is so bad there's so much evil into this we passed the level of left versus right uh, politics this is good versus evil like the lady said you will stand in front of a higher power you know what the problem is a lot of people just don't believe in anything there's a lot of people in this country who just don't believe in god bro some people even actually believe in the devil you can google you can google it some people actually have after school devil i don't know worshiping or study whatever it is this is sick this shouldn't be happening and thank god we have people like this lady here courageous enough to come out and talk about it we need more people doing the same bro this is amazing man and like i said it's not a political thing anymore this is good versus evil all right good versus evil and god sees you if you are not doing the right thing God bless you. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section and catch you on the next one. Wow.